there is this one word that i dread a lot d e b t debt when you owe someone money you are in debt uh, when you borrow money from someone till you repay that amount you are in debt there are many ways you can be in debt when you take a loan it can be any kind of loan it can be mortgage loans it can be student loans medical loans or any kind of personal loans and second is credit card each time you swipe your credit card you are in debt till you clear the outstanding on your credit card statement but wait this video is not about technicalities of debt i am a 100% debt free person and i developed a debt free mentality very early in life hi i am geeta and welcome to my channel geeta speak walks today in this video we are going to be talking about the emotional aspects of debt the impact on your life when you are in debt how i became debt free how you can be free of your debts how you can develop a debt free mentality but before we go into the video if you are new to my channel or you have not yet subscribed kindly click the subscribe button below i bring to you lot of interesting topics which will be useful to you in my videos every week so now let's get on to the video so first let's talk about the consequences of being in debt the very first one stress and medical problems obviously when you are in debt you will be in stress even if you have furnished your entire house by taking loans or on credit card for which you are paying emis you will not be able to truly enjoy them till you have finally repaid all your debts second is imbalanced lifestyle even if you own every luxury by borrowing they are not truly yours till you clear the outstandings we tend to try to match up to other people's lifestyles by borrowing by using credit cards indiscriminately and this adds to our liabilities and we stay burdened all our life this creates an imbalanced lifestyle on one side you have all the luxuries on the other side you do not truly own them you cannot enjoy them till you clear your outstandings third is fatal greed I have a 32 inch television in my house but then I saw an advertisement uh, of bigger television and the advertisement says that how I get a fantastic deal and I should have it in my house I see a friend buying it and all of a sudden though I was all along happy with my television I feel inadequate I want to buy this bigger television desperately but I don't have the money so the best choice is go for the credit card and buy it now this is how greed increases our liabilities every time we desire something which is beyond our means it only adds to our burden today there are so many deals available everywhere there's so many offers going on and um, it's so easy to get money you know to borrow money that our greed never ends and each time we get greedy and buy something which is beyond our means it becomes fatal there are so many people who commit suicides because they are burdened by debts and they are not able to repay it next is self worth there is always a pressure on the earning members in the family to provide more and more comforts to the family members and the family members also unknowingly or knowingly put pressure on the earning members by comparison uh, that's comparing their own lifestyles with others these earning members in the process of providing uh, more and more comforts for their family members um, in order to prove their own worth end up in debts and uh, this pressure can even kill so self worth is compromised when uh, you are not able to provide for your family and this kind of mindset can prove to be fatal the last is compromise social life when you are in debt when you are borrowing when you have uh, huge uh, loans on your head it is never a secret it never remains a secret this is the times of internet of technology everyone comes to know everything what with this uh, civil score etc so when you are in debt it is no longer a secret never remains a secret everyone comes to know and when everyone comes to know about it they tend to Uh, see you in a different light they tend to view you in a different life light 
and uh, also they don't want to be with you they may not want to be with you because they are afraid that you will borrow money from them so they will try to stay away from you so this way your social life is also impacted we have discussed what are the consequences of being in debt so now let's talk about what can we do about it the first one is inculcate a debt free mentality among the family members including the children it is very important that every member in the family including the children be made to understand what is the meaning of debt why is it dangerous to be in debt how can it prove to be fatal to the family every family member should be made to understand the importance of living within the means decisions like where to travel what to eat where to eat uh, what to own etc should be taken collectively as a family so that each family member is able to uh, feel participative in the decision and also understand from where the means come in order to buy any item like we discussed in the first point develop a debt free mentality the second point is develop a savings mentality let it be a game within the family or even a game with yourself you know uh, try to save as much as possible uh, money that on a daily basis and at the end of the month see who has saved the maximum money uh, for the family and that person gets a small treat out of it so this way what happens is that it becomes a family habit to focus more on savings rather than on spendings it is very very important to develop a savings mentality better to save than to spend recklessly and create more debts for the family next is mindful planning of borrowings even if you have to borrow or take a loan every such plan to borrow should be accompanied by how you are going to repay the loan or the money that you borrowed till the last rupee you owed this way what happens is that if while making this plan you are not able to clearly identify how you are going to repay the entire loan this will help you desist from taking a loan the next is set a limit to your credit card spendings it is so easy to get a credit card nowadays i remember that recently i got a credit card from a bank um and the total limit was what around 2 and a half 3 3 and a half lakh rupees or something like that i don't even remember the limit because i have no intention of spending that much now what happens is that when you get a credit card with such huge spending limit your brain automatically says wow i can spend so much of money but then your brain does not tell you that uh, okay you can spend so much money but you also need to repay so much money so it is very very important to put a limit on your credit card spendings i'm not talking about the limit that the bank levies on the credit card i'm talking about your own limit one way of doing this if you if you have this tendency of using credit card very frequently frequently one way you can uh, do is that paste a small chit on your wallet or put a chit in your wallet where you can see it the moment you open the wallet on the chit put a figure of what you want to limit as your credit card spending so each time when you open your wallet to take out the credit card you will see that limit and that limit will remind you that no you cannot afford to spend beyond this limit because then you will have to bear the burden of repayment next is use an incashable talent every person has some talent or the other you also would have some talent which you can actually incash it can be a flair for music it can be a flair for writing uh, dancing or uh, creating videos etc so uh, promise yourself that whatever money you will earn out of your incashable talent only that money you will use for uh, buying or for acquiring any luxuries or any uh, wishes in your bucket list this way what happens is that this will encourage you to do something good and also will limit uh, the temptation of procuring your wish list items from your hard earned money which is necessary to meet your daily life expenses so find out your incashable talent if you feel you don't have any such talent 
learn something okay learn something try to acquire that kind of talent the last is prioritize repayment of your debts this is my own secret whenever i had loans in past i always used to make it my number one priority i still use credit cards but whenever i use my credit card i make it my topmost priority to repay the outstanding on my credit card uh, statement at the end of the uh, month the first thing so repayment of your debts and loans should be your number one priority every single rupee that you earn extra should go into repayment of your loans and debts every month when you get your income your number one priority should be repayment of your loans developing this kind of a debt free mentality is extremely important to be debt free all your life what do you get in return think about it when you go to sleep you don't have any liabilities on your head you don't owe anyone anything and that feeling should make you proud of yourself should make you happy and that is the reason why it is so important to develop that debt free mentality if today was the last day of my life i would die in peace with the thought that i may not be rich but i am debt free i am not liable to anyone i don't owe anything to anyone and that feeling would give a lot of peace in my mind so these were my tips on how to be debt free in your life and how to develop a debt free mentality if you found this video useful please don't forget to click like button below and please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the small notification bell next to it uh, because i keep coming up with different topics um, which will be very useful to you and which will be very interesting as well with this we come to the end of this video thank you so much for being with me through this entire video and uh, till the next video happy living my dears